Hi, this is Sansan Mashi, and this is going to be the weekly energy reading for uh, November 24th through the 30th for all 12 horoscope signs kind of in one video. Um, in the future, let me know how you feel about these, if I should do it all in one video like this, um, or if you guys prefer the individual ones. Personally, I want to do the individual ones. Um, I'm just on a time constraint this week, and so I figured this was the best idea. Um, so I hope these all resonate with you guys. I think I already did a pre-recorded Aquarius one that might just upload, but I figured in case that did not actually happen, I still included Aquarius. Um, also, if the volume to the music is too loud, my apologies. I'm not going to change it. Because <laughs> I have a strong feeling about the messages that the music is going to be giving me. So you guys can click the timestamp below for your individual like horoscope. Um, you can do your rising sign, your moon sign, you can do whatever you want. Um, you can cross watch, however these resonate. Um, so yeah, if you'd like to book a personal reading, you can email me at sansamushi at gmail.com and you can check the description below for more information on that. So we're just going to go ahead and get started um, with Aquarius. Oh, wait, sorry. <laughs> Before we get started, so the way I have it set up is six cards each for everyone. So this is um, your energy at the beginning of the week, and then advice. And then your energy in the middle of the week, advice, end of the week, and then advice. And that goes for everyone. The only one that's different is Cancer. I just felt really guided to combine to both that deck with this medicine deck. So there's, um, instead of six cards, twelve. But overall, these should all be brief, I hope. That's another thing guys, this is going to be kept as short as I possibly can. So the messages, I'm sure there's more. Um, so if you guys have any questions afterwards, let me know and I'll type a giant paragraph to you <laughs> about like that specific thing. If there's anything I, you guys will know, like I'll be like, oh, there's a lot here, but I got to move on. Just leave a comment or maybe I'll type extra descriptions. <gasps> yeah. So guys, I have a cool idea. So I might do this as briefly as possible, and then while it's uploading, I'll look at it, feel the messages, and type paragraphs, and those will all be in the comments below. So I should have 12 comments that have all 12 horoscopes of extra messages I get from each one. Um, we'll see, though. I'll go with the flow, or the song lyric, the rhythm of love. So, Aquarius, we're gonna get started. Um, the energy at the beginning of the week is Eight of Wands, sudden movement action so that's the energy so you might be feeling inspired to do something or to move um, or to communicate something clearly um, or maybe just like a lightning bolt idea so your advice is the son of pentacles your advice is to yeah visualize what it is that you want um, keep that in your intentions when you're taking action. So it's like you have like a goal Bas like basically create a goal create like something in your mind that you know you can tangibly get to With it when it comes to this form of quick action something you can do right now to Help you with the goal for the future pretty much So that's the beginning of the week middle of the week's energy is the daughter of swords Hold that thought is what I'm getting. Um, that you might have a lot on your mind suddenly that you want to communicate, but you're planning when and how to communicate and orchestrate this, I'm hearing manifestation. Um, so yeah, your intuition, your higher self is definitely guiding you somewhere throughout this week and, <laughs> and all the time, you know? Um, but like, with this idea, if you're having fears or doubts, this is like letting those flow through and out of you and let those cycle out so that all that is left is hopes, plans, um, things that do serve you when it comes to manifesting this. The advice, manifest it. <laughs> That's so funny. This is the magician. This is the manifester. Um, take pride in the gifts and talents that you possess. Your abilities are infinite. They truly are. So your advice is to really believe that um, that you have everything you need 
to make these plans, these dreams, ideas uh, happen. That the more you think about it and plan for it, the faster it's going to flow through you. But yeah. And then the end of the week, the energy I get is the five of pentacles. I'm just hearing, you know, that's just not, there's got to be accepting that it's just not going to happen right away. Um, and I'm getting this energy of like, you do have to put time and effort into this thing that is far away from you at the present moment. So whatever goals you're planning, it's like at the end of the week, you might feel like this is what's going on, that they're not going to manifest. Because that's the thing, manifestation is a process. So this is feeling like it's not going to manifest. And I'm hearing that's just more so a fear. Um, and that actually it will. If you Just like trust your intuition, trust your higher self. Maybe do a guided meditation or just meditate on your own and communicate with your higher self or your spirit guide and kind of see how they feel about the situation. Um, you might even be worried about finances because this is the pentacles card, earth. Um, but when, you, so I'm feeling the energy of the end of the week is maybe feeling some sort of sorrow or pain and then realizing later that there's been a rainbow over your head this whole time. This is the lyrics from the song. Um, so it might not feel like it's coming into fruition at the very end of the week, but you're feeling very positive throughout it. And so by the end, this is just gonna be an energy to get through the advice. Is then, yeah, the Nine of Cups, have hopes, don't have fears, you know? Release those, remain hopeful. Uh, you're fulfilling your dreams and your own wishes uh, always remember that that's what you were trying to do and always doing and that you always have the power to do that Okay, I, I really gotta go to the next thing <laughs> So I hope those resonate sending love and light Aquarius and whoever was guided to watch that peace out All right Pisces so your energy at the beginning of the week is the Queen of Swords You're speaking your truth. You're communicating clearly what it is that you seek what you want whatever it is that you feel even, but you do this knowing it needs to be done. Um, you're like, I want to communicate this because this is who I am. I, I lead, uh, I take pride in being the queen of swords. So I'm going to say what I'm going to say. And you're kind of like inviting others to do the same. So advice, king of pentacles. Wow, do this in a very mature, physical way. So. You know, this can sometimes be about like all communicating spiritually, but I'm getting this is a very physical communication with others um, to speak up loud and clear as your advice for um, your thoughts when it comes to the beginning of the week. The middle of the week is the fool. So it seems that somehow brings you to a new journey. Um, take off your coat. Oh my gosh, you're just going on an adventure in the middle of the week, it seems. So many of you might be going on an adventure, like, maybe in the physical world, maybe in the spiritual world. I'm getting it's a spiritual world. It looks kind of trippy, like you're going to be having some sort of spiritual experience. <laughs> I sound like I'm doing, like, tongue twisters <laughs> sometimes. But, yeah, anyways, going on a new journey in a lot of aspects, so however that resonates for you. Um... And then advice, three of wands. Your advice is to expand while expand right where you are. You can do it pretty much. So I'm seeing this as meditation in the middle of the week, like a cool meditation. Like you get some cool visuals. Maybe you have some really interesting dreams. So maybe pay attention to your dream world, especially in the middle of the week. But this can also apply to like the physical world, I'm just getting it's, it's very much a spiritual type of journey. And then the end of the week, your energy is the two of wands, eye on the horizon. So I feel like it was just like a, um, even fantasizing, daydreaming, but like, yeah, whatever you experienced uh, on your journey in the middle, it looks like that was where you were standing already. So I do feel like that's a lot of an internal thing. And the song Dream just came on, so I do feel this is very much a dream type of uh, message. So if you don't remember your dreams very well, maybe start setting the intention of like, I'm going to remember this dream. 
or just pay attention to if you wake up in the morning you're like I think I was doing something you know uh, or if you daydream and then advice is the lovers oh my gosh <laughs> keep your eye on the horizon keep love in mind balance it believe in it have faith in it um, understand that whatever's meant to be will be you're up you're coming just you, the energy you're feeling is that this is coming and then your advice is to feel that energy and embrace it all right sending love and light pisces and whoever was guided to watch that peace out all right aries your energy at the beginning of this week is knight of cups so the beginning of the week is emotionally feeling connections no matter how far I do remember last week, I think Aries was kind of like that too, so I, I guess I'm tapping into a very specific energy, so I hope that resonates with uh, those of you who are guided to listen to this message. So at the beginning of the week, you're feeling, um, you're feeling appreciation, deep appreciation and love for someone far away. And then your advice, Seven of Swords, uh, I'm hearing clear the air, I'm hearing, um, Trust your feelings, release any thought of doubt, however you can. So that's your advice. Hope that helps. Uh, middle of the week, the star, have hope. So yeah, the middle of the week, your energy that you have is very hopeful, very in alignment with your path. Wherever you end up, you're just like, yeah, this is where I'm meant to be. So very strong energy. That's really good. Your advice, three of wands, yep, um, plan for the future expand so wherever you are you're like this is where I need to be I need to keep expanding so I will keep being where I need to be and then end of the week oh yeah there are actually three cards that came out okay well this is middle to end um, this is all a period of pause so this week you're kind of just like persisting through something but it's you know it's where you need to be at this time all right then the end of the week your energy is the five of pentacles um, being distanced from some some sort of, like I feel it's this emotional connection now you're really feeling it physically you know at first you were like okay I still feel the connection from afar I'm okay you know I love this connection by the end I feel like you're feeling like you're really missing it this connection or missing whatever it is that you're away from during this time of pause at the end of the week and then your advice is the six of pentacles um, is that you can still give to the connection physically in whatever way you can. That could be communication. That could just be doing your own independent thing. Just doing, fulfilling your own dreams even. Whatever you can for yourself. Um, as, and that benefits your partner or this person you're separated from. Um, yeah. Every time I do Aries, uh, and it could just be like my own journey in my life of, the, like the like someone who I know who's Aries and and stuff, but I feel like this is just kind of like you travel a lot, and so it's like you go into separation and then you come back and then separate and then come back because you're always traveling. Um, so that might resonate with some of you out there. <laughs> okay, so I hope those help. The advice is to basically just keep giving, however much you're receiving, you'll keep receiving, however much you give. It'll, it'll be equal and, and feel overall positive and you can get through any sort of illusion of separation. All right, sending love and light, peace out to whoever, yeah. All right, Taurus, and whoever is guided to watch this part, your energy at the beginning of the week is the lovers. I do see this as like a contemplating type of energy. You're like getting more clear about how you feel about love your advice, it's the five of pentacles, your advice is to take this time to yourself, to do this alone, so I feel you are taking time by yourself and, and figuring things out, so that's very positive. Middle of the week's energy is Prince of Swords, leaving behind a previous uh, energy, like time that you spent uh, with thoughts, like the time you spent putting certain thoughts. How am I trying to phrase this? Uh, hopefully you guys get what I mean. Basically like, you have 
like previously at the beginning of the week, you had a lot of thoughts about like love and doing this by yourself. And then the middle of the week is like whatever you, your thought process was for all of that in the beginning, you're like transferring it over to something else. So that could be now you're maybe closing the gap and communicating and hanging out a bit with people at the, the, like the middle of the week. I just feel like your, your thought process is gonna be changed after whatever you learn with your contemplating on love. So like basically I'm feeling you're gonna be like communicating even more clearly um, and and you'll be communicating like differently like just the way that you are you're gonna see you've like grown already just in like that short time is what I'm hearing um, and because of the song just chanting go 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 I'm hearing in the middle of the week the advice we used to go 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 <laughs> that's so funny because your advice is also the hanged man which is to like stop so you're stuck in a situation your thoughts though are not you can leave um, your perspective your thoughts your um, body you know I'm basically getting like go 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 within these are both cards of like leaving behind like a thought process or gaining enlightenment so in the middle of the week, it looks like you're going to be seeking enlightenment, and your advice is to, yes, do that, seek enlightenment. Um, the end of the week, your energy is the Ten of Swords, so I feel what you left behind was a lot, seeing where a lot of your pain came from internally, and cycling that out. So I see this is like a wheel spinning, and all the swords come flying out um, in a trajectory. Hold on, i got to pause. All right, I had to skip that song because it's blocked in several countries, and so now I always know to like switch the song. The song is called Automatic, though. Um, but yeah, I guess that with this, it's like just by meditating or seeking enlightenment or just thinking and going forward, you kind of watch how like automatically your pain and your like past thoughts and past self of you cycles out because that's how death works. It's inevitable. Which is a good thing for you, like the purpose of your journey. So advice at the end of the week, ten. Yeah, let this cycle let this cycle complete. You got two tens at the end of the week. So this is a part of your destiny. Let the wheel turn forward, reap in any benefits. So I'm just seeing a lot of positive, like experience coming in. So your advice is to gain from that, and then let go of what's been lost. So I hope that helps. Sending love and light, guys. Talk to you soon. Peace out. All right, so this is Gemini's energy. Um, the beginning of the week, your energy is the Five of Cups. That's right, so change your focus. Um, so your energy is that you are trying to move on. You're in the process of feeling some sort of loss some sadness when it comes to love and you're just kind of like moving away from that and changing your focus it's like that just like is not in your present time and space so you're just choosing to put your thoughts and feelings into something else the best you can your advice take the lead three of wands plan for it so it's okay to have those thoughts and feelings and then the advice overall that I get is um, plan accept it and move on um, and then do the next thing is kind of what I'm getting. All right, the middle of the week, your energy is lead. Move forward. You've changed your focus. You're being yourself. Um, very good vibrational match for people around you. Um, your advice, four of wands. That's really cool. Um, so four, four. Your advice is stabilize your joy. Hone in on doing things that make you happy. Excuse me, three words, two hearts, one maybe. So yeah, I'm just seeing you're gonna say something important in the middle of the week. Like a leader, you know, maybe you have a speech to give. It's kind of what I'm getting for some reason. All right, end of the week, your energy. Two of cups coming together. Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. I see this come together with loved ones, so your speech helped you come together. Being yourself 
brought you closer to your loved ones. That's beautiful. Your advice, strength, control. Your advice is... Act out of true strength, not out of fear or frustration or controlled thoughts. Um, true strength and control is being able to be yourself um, and like communicate from a place of love, not out of place of I'm hearing resentment or hurt or something like that. So you might have some challenges at the end of the week and your advice is to act out of love. Keep that vibration that you are actually in, love, and find the root of where pain is coming from inside of you and realize you're very strong for how you've been doing with that pain. And this will help you heal. Okay, hope that helps. Love and light, guys. All right, Cancer, the one that has a lot of cards. So your energy at the beginning of the week is the fool and the grouse, two birds. Woo! Two birds, one stone. It's not a great analogy. It's kind of awful, but still, it is like you're accomplishing two things at the same time. You're going, doing your own thing, and you're like going down this cycle of life, this spiral. That sounds kind of negative, but because I said down, but grass is the spiral card, so it, it's about cycles that go on forever and expand. So you're going on a new journey and expanding is your energy, your advice, oh my gosh, do that, balance yourself, ground yourself, keep working at it, you're doing something, you have a schedule going, keep doing that schedule, have patience, this is getting you slow and steady to the nutrients that you want and need to grow as a butterfly, so that you can, you're getting a lot of air flying cards, so you're trying to travel and your advice is to like be patient with your travels but um, your hard work is considered very fast because you're putting in so much of that like time and strength and energy as your like advice pretty much okay hope that helped uh, middle of the week your energy is seven of swords with the buffalo so in the middle of the week is going to be feeling a deep sense of appreciation with your thoughts, uh, holding on to it. You're holding a thought um, that you're from someone else that you appreciate them, but your eyes say it all. Is what I'm getting. Your body language says it all. You're learning like there's a way for people to see this thought, um, and that there are ways for you to open it up. It's like you're keeping it from others. You're trying to replicate it and tell people your thoughts but until you just give them your actual thought it's like they they'll like have different interpretations however your energy is in a state of in, like appreciation so energetically people who really get you kind of is what i'm getting are going to be totally fine with this energy and they're going to like understand pretty much that's what i'm getting your advice is five of, or sorry yeah your advice is five of wands this is because you're coming into alignment with your true self, basically. Um, and your advice is, that's okay. You know, we get another, like, camouflage energy. The, the true illusion is feeling like you don't know how to communicate this thought. Or that you don't know. Or that, you know, you're hiding something somehow, some way. The, the true illusion is just that. You're actually, that's actually a positive energy, um you're learning the reason it's difficult to share certain thoughts and things is because you're learning as the box um, and then your advice wait no that was all of your advice so this is the middle of the week wait was it sorry hold on let me make sure this is the so that was the beginning of the week okay this is the middle of the week and then this is the end of the week your energy at the end of the week is that that love that feeling you had um energetically it got shared those around you felt it whatever you your thoughts were that maybe you were like holding on to a bit energetically emotionally uh it was communicated so 
whatever that seven of swords is, it's just kind of like learning and keeping to yourself like, oh, I've learned more about myself. It's kind of what I get. And then, so the end of the week again, um, Blue Heron, you, yeah, I gave you a lot of reflection about yourself. So that's pretty powerful. And then your advice at the end of the week, Eight of Swords, free yourself from a previous thought process. You feel trapped, you can free yourself. That's the Eight of Swords. And then Salmon, yeah, your wisdom, your inner wisdom is going to guide you out of this cocoon that you are sort of stuck in. Realizing that the reason this has been so hard that you've been holding on to a thought, it's not because you're holding the thought. Truth is, the thought was holding you. <laughs> um, so your advice is to allow your higher self to help you, help guide you out of that. So I hope that all resonates with those of you who listen to this, uh, the cancer reading. Um, love and light, peace out. So I'm just gonna kind of put some cards away. Just so I can get to sleep quicker. Which is actually not true, by the way, guys. I'm gonna be eating pumpkin pie. <laughs> I should sleep, and I already had two slices earlier, way earlier in the day, but. Which is actually at night, but. Yeah, I'm gonna have more. <laughs> Um, where is this one? Oh, there we go. And then... Alright, sorry about the wait. So, Leo, your current energy. So at the beginning of the week, your energy is Ace of Pentacles, a new beginning. Very exciting. You feel ready to take on some sort of blossomed opportunity. You just, suddenly there's something you can do in the physical world, and you, like, want to do it you have this opportunity. Your advice? Oh my gosh, take that opportunity and appreciate it. That's awesome. So that's really exciting. All right, middle of the week. Three of Swords is your energy. So it looks as though maybe you feel like you missed an opportunity by the middle of the week. I'm getting easily though with the Queen of Pentacles that that's just an illusion, but the energy you'll be in in the middle of the week your thoughts might hurt a little bit. You might still have some heartache making this um, journey feel spooky. Um, and that's just because you're hurting. So you'll heal from that. Um, but phys in the physical world, you're doing really well. Mentally, it looks as though you're experiencing some heartache. Your advice, Knight of Cups, is to feel that, understand um, emotionally you're still feeling heartache, you're perhaps feeling separation um, from a loved one. Uh, and so that's the middle of the week. The end of the week, your energy this is the Three of Pentacles. You, you turn that energy into something productive. You realize, you recognize it as love, and so you act out of love. You try to honor it and celebrate and get to work on your life. And then your advice is Knight King of Cups. So, yeah, you mature, you overcome all that. So, I'm realizing my storage space is low, so I'm going to try to go faster. Hope that resonated. Love and light. Alright, um, Virgo. Your energy at the beginning of the week is King of Pentacles. So, you have very tangible um, actions. You're doing a lot in the physical world at the beginning of this week. You're communicating, um, you're giving out offers, you're being there for people. Um, in your mature way as a king. Um, if it's like a, a serious physical world problem, you're like, I can help. If there's a physical world like offer, you can bring it up. It's like all sorts of that. So that's the energy I get. Your advice, 10 of pentacles. This has to do with loved ones, community, uh, friends, family, all of that. We get the number 21. So your advice is to really bring those offers to your loved ones. Alright, middle of the week. The chariot, charge forward, do what you want, um, be there for people when you're when they need your help because that's what you want to do is your energy. So you're moving really forward in the middle of this week. Your advice, nine, we got two nines. The chariot is technically seven, but there, it's the Uno card number nine. 
So your advice is chase your dreams, pursue them, charge forward, do whatever makes you happy. End of the week, we get Nine of Pentacles, feeling really good alone in the, like, in the physical world, independently. Um, you feel at home, you feel connected with everything around you. Your advice, whoa, oh my gosh, we got 9999, check that out guys, that's crazy. Your advice is the world. Um, your advice is to gain all of this wisdom and experience, level up, and go to the next part of your journey, which is next week. All right, sending love and light. Really short, but hope that helps and resonates. Peace out. Um, Libra. All right, I get the feeling my story space is going to cut out. So I'm just going to make a short part two for the last ones. So see you guys there.